Hi guys, ever wondered what a beer fermented with baker cheese would taste like? Well, let's find out. I read in a Swedish uh, Facebook group that uh, there was a brewer who brewed with uh, baker's yeast. He had tried brewing with baker's yeast and with ale yeast, but he couldn't taste any difference. So he went back with bread yeast. In Sweden, there are only two different types of uh, baker's yeast, at least what I know. There are regular and there are four sweet doughs and they come in dry and non-dry form but uh, I really wanted to say liquid there and uh, to my knowledge there are two different strains baker yeast and brewer yeast are the same kind of uh, yeast but of course different strains with the yeast for the sweet doughs it's more uh, uh, sugar tolerant so I thought we should use the sweet dough one because wort is very sweet so i wanted to try this uh, but i thought i should do a really good test by doing a split batch so i did that uh, i brewed a black ipa uh, five weeks ago maybe something like that um, and what I did with that was, after sparging, I continue to, to, to sparge into another vessel. I measured the gravity while sparging, um, so I measured the runnings, and I stopped when they dropped below 1010. And I actually ended up with 14 liters of uh, very mild wort. I think the, the wort measured uh, about 10 to 12 so I could have done a light beer with it but I decided instead to boil that down to 8 liters and I added uh, a kilo of DME to it so that gave me a OG of 10.51 for hops I used 15 grams of uh, Cascade at 10 minutes and 15 grams of Villamette at 10 minutes and 10 grams of Cascade and 10 grams of Villamette at Flame Out. And no finings were used and uh, I split them into two vessels, uh, 4 liter each and added a pack of SO4 into one of the vessels and added a pack of uh, baker's yeast into the other vessels. Have some footage for you, um, not from the brew day, because there, there, there is footage from the brew day and for the black IPA, but um, this ain't about that. But I have some uh, footage for you from the fermentation. So some uh, fermentation porn coming up.
Okay, so you saw um, the baker's yeast was quite hungry. Uh, it also fermented down a little bit lower. The SO4 ended at uh, 1014, yeah. Um, so that gave an alcohol 5.4%. Uh, and the baker's yeast ended up 1012, so that ended up 5.6. Um, and these are bottle conditioned. This is the SO4, and this is the bread yeast, baker's yeast. They have been uh, bottled conditioned for four weeks. I left them in fermenter for one week. They were actually done in, I think, a day or so with that amount of yeast. A pack in uh, four liters of wort. Um, but they have been uh, bottled conditioned, as I said, for four weeks and I've shielded them down. Um, they are hazy, shill haste. Uh, when I looked through the bottles before I shield them, they were crystal clear, but there are chill haze in them. The baker's yeast one was hazier during fermentation, at the end of fermentation, not as flocculent as the SO4, and maybe that's why it fermented down a little bit further than the SO4. Uh, when we looked at the video, uh, there was quite a color difference there because of the, uh, the haziness from the yeast in suspension in the baker's yeast one. Uh, don't know if you can see anything there, you can. The light shine through it. Let's get those into a glass or two glasses to be exact. So we have uh, the same glasses. Uh, these were carved up with uh, Cooper's carbonation drops, one and a half in each. And they are filled to exactly the same level. And uh, of course that uh, half part ain't exact, but very close to exact. So the SO4, nice hiss there, some smoke in the opening. And the baker's yeast one, a little bit more there, more hiss. Okay, let's pour this one. This is the SO4, gonna place the cap along with the beer. Um, I don't expect any of this beer to be fantastic, actually. Um, the yeast stayed in there, fine. So, this is a hazy beer, SO4 cap, there. It's a muddy looking, brownish, Ale with one finger of white head. It looks like dish water. Okay, let's open. I have already opened the other one. Let's pour the baker's yeast one. And that just stayed good in the bottom as well. Okay, so it's a little bit more carbonated than the, the SO4. Two finger of white head. Color wise, they look the same, but the 
baker's yeast are a little bit more carbonated. Let's give it a nose. Fruity esters there. And these were fermented just in room temp, around 18, 19 now. Maybe more like 18. Yes. There's some hops and uh, some maltiness there and some fruits. Okay, more um, estery type of fruits than your uh, hoppy fruit. Okay, let's give the baker's yeast a try. It's very different, spicy. It's very, very estery. You really want me to say that uh, the baker's yeast one is the best here. I know that, but I have to be honest about the, the two beers. Yeah, it's it, it's very estery, spicy, strong on the nose. Okay, almost like a saison, but not. So let's dive in. This is the S O four one. So cheers, guys. It tastes. A little bit like a brown ale, but it's a little bit weak in flavor. Um, don't think <clears throat> the wort really delivered. But this wasn't about making good beers, it was about trying out Baker's yeast versus ale yeast. So, didn't want to do this with an all grain full batch. So, I did an example brew with the DME and, uh, of course, the extra sparge from the Black IPA. Um, the, it's an okay um, beer, a little bit bland as I said, but uh, there's really nothing wrong with it. I have tasted worse than that. Okay, let's give the baker's yeast a try. Uh, it's more carbonated. And it has the spicy ester so it's actually a little bit more flavor than this one. But it ain't as clean. It has a greater mouthfeel, even though it fermented down lower. This has um, more of that English um, type of character. 
it's an English atheist, but anyways. This is drier. This is a little bit more sweet and fruity esters, and this is a little, little more drier and spicy esters. I'm so sorry, guys, but I um, am a little bit boring. I think I do prefer the uh, SO4 over the baker's yeast. This has been sitting warm now for four weeks in a bottle. Um, I have some bottles left, um, so I could uh, place them uh, somewhere colder now, and we could come back to this experiment in a couple of months. What you say about that? Would that be interested? Um, so, guys, I think um, that's it. Um, I won't uh, finish any of them, actually. Um, I have some beers to review, so uh, I think I will do a beer review instead. So, cheers, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. If you're uh, choosing uh, between uh, ale yeast and baker's yeast, Choose an 80 yeast. So, cheers guys. Dr. Hans out.